Well, most of us will be on a sugar high from a chocolate overload this Easter long weekend. Yes, but which chockey should you choose if you're watching your weight and which one should you avoid to answer that? Very difficult question. Sunrise nutritionist Susie Burrell. Good morning. Joins us now. Okay, I'm, I just can't even speak these words. Is it worth trying to be healthy at Easter? <laughs> I think I'm a big fan of allocating Easter Sunday as your day to indulge in as much chocolate as you want and then get rid of it. Oh, good. Because, of course, if it's there, you keep eating it. And basically, the biggest predictor of junk food consumption or Easter egg consumption is availability. So the more you have, the more that you will eat. So. Right. Give us the bad news first. The I think it's probably the best way to start. The, the <laughs> larger the eggs, the more you're going to have. So one of those really mega eggs has got about 2,000 calories in it, mm. which is your entire daily energy requirement. So they're probably the larger size ones. I would say if you're someone who cannot control yourself when you crack it open, it's probably not the best choice for you. So another little trick I use with those bigger eggs though, is if you melt it down and use it like a fondue, with the fruit. Oh, yeah. That's a way of sort of getting fruit. rid of some of it. So you just keep munching on okay. all the, the chocolate. Crack out the fondue pots and that. You've got you a few in your cupboard. I can't not. <laughs> Which options have less calories? So some of the more portion control sides, if we see three small eggs is just over 100 calories, so that's actually the portion, not the entire little bag, um, or one of those medium-sized eggs is, again, about 100 calories or about 100 gram bunny. Here's my so, space, the dark chocolate. That, that's that's oh. pretty good, isn't it? It, it's everyone thinks it's a little bit better. Oh, here it's we go. Better, Don't tell me differently. It's better in the sense it's higher in antioxidant than milk chocolate, and because it's more bitter, you would argue it's not as easy to overeat. Because as we know, when we start popping those little sweet eggs, it's hard to stop. Whereas because that's got a much richer flavour, you would argue that perhaps you're not going to eat as much of it. Is it lower in fat and calories? Not really. Oh. It's just a oh, little bit better from a health one. perspective. I've always thought so, that was the good one. And oh. it's, a, it's a slightly smaller portion, you know, so that's on one hand. All right, what do we got the, on the end? It's not Easter without a hot cross the bun. hot cross buns. Now, the thing with hot cross buns is they've become mega sized. So you get chocolate chips yeah. laden with butter. So if you can find the minis, they take it down to about 20 grams of carbohydrate, which is about two slices of bread. You can get sourdough varieties now. Go really thin on the butter because, of course, we're ladling in What's extra the calories. What's but the point? You've got to load it up. You've got a tub of butter on yeah. it. That's the whole point of I'm hot cross I'm a little bun. bit like, enjoy it. Good Friday, yeah. your hot cross bun, Easter, Saturday, Sunday, and then and then end the festivities, and then you'll be on the right track. So and it's about moderation, yeah. enjoying some good quality. But the more you buy, the more you will eat. So try and control yourself a little bit. Yeah, and who's right. going to stop at one mini? Have no, four. you're not going to. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Happy Easter. Thank you, too. Thanks, Susan.